Ah, yes, it's time for another hack. And I've been doing a lot of these hacks recently. So if you have any suggestions, just comment them down below and I'll have a look at them. Now, let's go on with the video. The poor victim we have today is achieved 3000. It's basically quite simple. You have a story here on the left and you have some questions here on the right. Well, I'm sure you already know all about this because why else would you be watching the video? Anyways, let's get into it. First of all, to get this hack working, you have to go to the CodePen link at the comments below. Some of you more recurring viewers, I'm sure you know how this goes. You need to go into the link and copy the entire code from the JavaScript section. And once you have done that, you need to go into any Achieve 3000 task, really doesn't matter which one it is. Inside this page with all of the questions on the right, right click and inspect, which should have a section named console. Once you click this section, you can then paste in the code that you have just previously copied. But before I carry on, this is the part where I have to stop you. However, make sure to listen to this section as it is one of the most important sections of this video. Most hacks goes on the assumption that there are answers somewhere. For a hack like Quizlet, it has all the answers right underneath it and all the translations are right there. However, this really isn't the case for Achieve 3000 as there are no answers anywhere and you can only do the worksheet once. So instead, I've changed the archetype a little bit to be something like this. Whenever a user clicks on an answer while the hack is active, it records that answer and checks if it's right or wrong. These are then saved into the cloud online and whenever someone else uses the hack, it gets the answer and uses it. Now, this is quite simple, but why am I telling you this? It's because if we go back several minutes, after you paste the code into the console, there should be now two buttons, one called submit and another one called remove all answers. If you click remove all answers, it makes all of the wrong answers that is stored inside the cloud highlighted inside red so that you know not to click it. And also, since you have two tries for every single question and there's only four answers, even if someone inside your class were to guess all of the questions while using the bot, you will still be able to get the questions right 100% of the time. And now this comes to the more important part because I need your help to share this video to everyone so that we can collect more and more data about these questions and with this increased amount of data, this bot can be more reliable for more people out there. So share it with anybody you know. 